Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the floating sinkhole base that I made a video on about a couple of months ago. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have said that this has been patched out and it doesn't work. It does work. It's just really tricky to do. It's not a beginner's build. Now, I should note that I am recording my voice after I did this because I started using OBS for my recordings and it saved the game volume and my voice on the same track, so I can't use it. So this video is not going to have any sound effects. It's just going to be my voice. Hopefully that will suffice. Needless to say, I was rather annoyed. I was that angry that I had to sit down and have a cup of chamomile tea. So this is going to be more like a tutorial, I believe. Now, first, what you want to do is get the simple stairs and place them quite far back from the sinkhole. You do not want to place it over these rock things that are here. Next, get a basic wall out and attach it. Then get another basic wall out and make it level with the other basic wall. Basic structures are quite difficult to work with. So this is the difficulty that people are probably having. They don't like to play nice, but you make do, you get through it. Now, all these logs here, all these log carts were gathered up by my Patreons. They did a lot of work, as you can see. There's so many here. Now, this is plenty. I won't need any more on this. Though what I plan on doing with the spares is making a bridge down to the bottom of the sinkhole using the basic walls as well. I'm probably going to get my Patreons to help with that one as well because it'll be a lot of fun. I assume a lot of people are going to be falling off. So there'll probably be someone down there reviving everyone. Most likely me. Now just keep building out with basic walls. Now where I'm doing it makes it quite easy as it's quite flat as it's going out past the sinkhole. Now the reason you need to stick it far back is because of these rock things that are on the edge. These are actually all over the map with cliff sides and that. Basic structures do not like them. This is most likely the problem people are having is they're trying to build it on top of this, but it makes basic structures go stupid. It won't work. So build it pretty far back and go over the top of it and just keep going out as far as you can until you can no longer place them. Now to reach a bit further, I'm gonna use a log cart, give me a bit of extra height and I can jump up and place more basic walls. Cancel the pieces I don't need anymore the basic walls are independent of each other, meaning they don't rely on each other. Which means if one gets destroyed, the other ones won't get destroyed. And then I build the end piece. Now I'm using a coaster to act as a ramp, so I can go up there and place the rest of the pieces and build more on it. You could use a tree bridge and a simple stairs though. That's rather expensive. Coasters are amazing for ramps and stairs. So the trick is, like I mentioned in the original video, is you stand right on the edge and place it. Do not build it and then place another piece on you have to place it on the end of the blueprint the reason being is otherwise it starts placing upwards like it elevates and then it won't be smooth to walk on you can do it but it's just going to be messy and the way i like to do it is move right to the edge and make sure you're not moving if you're moving you probably will slip down into the hole now i managed to place this on top this allowed me to do the edge placement placing it off to the side and i think it's because it's away from the cliff edges. I think they've got this radius that prevents you from doing things with the basic structures. I don't think the developers want you doing this and I'm surprised they haven't fixed it yet though they probably will fix this one. The old end knight doesn't like us having a lot of fun. So keep building out until you're satisfied. Don't go too far though because your tree bridge will start to sag too much. I'll give you an example if you're placing a platform on one end of the sinkhole to the other and you run a tree bridge between the two it will sink down that low that it will go underneath the floor of the sinkhole. Okay, now I'm starting to notice that's allowing me to place on the side of it. I don't know how this works, but it does. I tested this before I did it and it worked. So this is me going with a second try without any mods or cheats. Surprisingly, I didn't fall down the sinkhole while doing this. Now, I don't want it to be that close to the cliff edge because I'm worried about the worm mutant. So I'm going to extend it out a little bit. The thing is I noticed is extending it out the right side was going lower and the left side was going higher so I had to kind of work my way and fix that it doesn't really matter elevation might matter once you're placing your pillars just keep fiddling around moving the mouse around stand on the edge as close as you can without moving make sure you're not moving if you're moving there's a good chance you're going to slip down to the sinkhole so look at your feet focus if you're moving or not I could imagine doing this on PS4 would be an absolute nightmare though I can't confirm that so I placed an extra bit on here aiming upwards and then it allowed me to place another piece on top and it got to the same elevation as the other one. So that worked out quite well. 
and I built that one and cancelled the piece underneath it. And I just kept building out and finishing off the end pieces. I was happy with this length, you can go as long as you want. Though keep in mind the tree bridge sag, and it will also be more expensive. Once they're all done, you've got like an eye shape, the shape of a capital I. Connect the tree bridge and run it over to the other one. As you can see the anchors at the top of this one, at the far side, you can attach it to the bottom or the top. It depends what you want to do. And in this case, I'm going to attach it to the bottom. And you've got to do the same on the other side. Now something that I ran into here, it's not really much of an issue, but the anchor points at the other end. So that means it's going to have to be a little bit shorter. Because the other side is at the top. Because the basic wall only has two anchor points and they're both at the top on both sides, not at the bottom. And this basic wall's ended up the other way around. It's confusing as hell, I know. But you just got to work with what you got. So once that's all placed and done, complete them. Then get a custom foundation out and you want to draw a blueprint plan of where you want your pillars to be. And this is rather easy to do. You're not completing this because this would be absolutely insanely expensive because it will go down to the bottom of the sinkhole. You want to make sure all four corners are on the tree bridges. Once that's done, you can place your pillars in. Now I tried using custom walls as pillars, but there's something I realized after I finished placing them is that the back end ones were like a rock walls height taller than the front ones. So this meant that I have to use rock walls instead. That's not a big deal. Just means I'm probably gonna get some extra height, which is something I can work with. And place them on each corner. This is rather easy to do. Custom walls are really difficult to place as single pillars because they don't place exactly where you want them. Rock walls are much more lenient. Now this gap, I'm actually quite concerned about. I haven't tested if I can fall down it, but there's a good chance I may fall down it. Once you've done that, start completing all the pillars. Now I'm gonna go three high at the back and four high at the front. Bringing a log card up with rocks in it to make it easier to place them. So I've done three high at the back, four high at the front, so it's even. I might have been able to get away with it, but I didn't really care. I just rather place those extra four rocks because it's dirt cheap. After that's all done, I can cancel the custom foundation and I can get the custom floor out and start placing it. I'll have to do it manually. So pick a corner and just start from there. Now I want my logs to go lengthways and it's completely up to you which way you want them to go. You should probably go whatever's cheaper, place it both ways. Places not parallel to what you're going and I don't know what the opposite of parallel is. Doing it this way, I had an extra piece sticking out and I don't know why. So I placed it lengthways to see what it was. It worked out to be a couple of logs cheaper. I wanted my logs to go lengthways across. So I placed it again, and I don't know what I did differently, but it didn't have any offcuts this time. So just make sure you test out every pillar. Now this was the one I actually finished on, so I placed a skull with a stick on it, because that's the one that's holding it up. I didn't actually finish on the front one. Once that's all done and you're happy with it, complete it all. And then it's done. Now, I was originally just going to have this as an undercarriage like I did in my original design, but I thought I'd play around and see if I could have a, a first floor. And it turns out I could. I don't know how, because look where these are placing. <laughs> it's almost underneath the rock pillar. But yeah, it actually worked out quite well. I was able to place it. So I'll have two stories for this one. So the bottom floor isn't exactly wasted. Though I cancelled it and see if I could get a better placement, and it ended up costing me one extra log. And I'd never figured out why. That's the same placement. So depending on how you set yours up, you might be able to do this, you might not. I think I was just lucky. And that's the first floor done. Now I'm going to use a coaster as a means of a ramp. I keep calling it a coaster, even though it's being renamed to log track. No, same thing. You know what I'm talking about. And there's no log pillar coming down underneath it. Now with the custom walls on the first floor, I didn't want to place them manually because it kind of just looked very generic. So I decided to play around and see what I could come up with. And what I ended up doing was like two pieces of wall and two single log walls next to it. And I put a bone fence in the middle to block it off so you can't fall down. Well, you still can if you want it to jump over it. Like, this is just me testing out different looks. Also, there was an off cut. I think that's probably why it was one more log. And I did the exact same thing on the other side. I don't know how this is going to look. I guess I'll be able to tell once it's all finished. Now with the bone fence, I noticed that the first one I placed was all crunched up. So I replaced it. And bone fences are weird. You should play around with them because they cost eight bones for a single fence. So you can actually stretch it out as far as you can go. It's weird. Yeah, have a play. And I had to play around with the front door to see if I could get one working. And I just gave up in the end because I want to be able to fit a log cart in here. As you can see, it just doesn't work. So I'm just gonna have to play around with some designs. 
Finish the back wall, use two single log pillars and one big piece. Decided to go get some bones so I could finish those fences with the old friendlies. They kept hanging around the front. They never tried to get up, so it's safe. I noticed some log pillars hanging off to the side. I have to get rid of them. Completed the front ramp to the base and started completing the walls on the first floor. And make sure you place your windows. You don't want to forget about them. Now this kept happening to me. If I pick up the log cart while it was underneath, it would send me to the second floor, which ended up being quite useful. As for floating pillars, it's weird. Now how I find them is you turn on overlay icons. I usually have them off. I turned it on, I was able to find it was down here. Now I was able to cancel it, but the C never popped up. I was just able to cancel it. Just look for that little hammer. That will tell you where it is. Now it happened again. I got sent through to the second floor of the log cart and I actually launched the other one <laughs> into the air. It went flying down to the bottom of the sinkhole. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> But it was good to get up on the second floor because it allowed me to build up here. Now I just placed a single custom wall on each side. I don't know what I have planned for this yet because I want to have zip lines at one end and I want to have catapults at the other so I can shoot them if necessary because the enemies can only come to one area. I figured that catapults will be good for taking them out. Though I don't know how good it would be. It would be fun though because they can't get to you and they'll just stand there and you can shoot them with a catapult. Might be a lot of fun. So I'm going to have zip lines at the back. One's probably going to go across the sinkhole. One's going to go down to that area down underneath. That's where those tents are. And there's also another one that's uh, where the Katana Cave is. There's some dynamite down there. Now I placed some single pillar poles as I was planning on having a roof, but I didn't think it through. And a catapult's ammunition is probably going to hit the roof if the roof is sitting there. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to set this all up on the second floor, but I got this far and it took quite a while. This took about an hour to get all done. And that's with all the logs. So custom roof here, I don't know. This doesn't sit well for me for some reason. But I'll figure something out. I want it to look decent. And I worked out that you can jump up to the top using the log track fence. Now I need a way to get up onto the second floor, a normal way using stairs. So what I did is I cut a single hole using the hole cutter. It was doing that bug thing, but it didn't matter. And I used a log track instead of a custom stairs. And it turns out you can get up to the second floor with a log track, without bumping your head, just using one cut, and it's a perfect width. Log tracks actually make much better stairs and ramps than the custom stairs do. I think custom stairs need a bit of work now. The log track has completely replaced it in my opinion. It's storming here, so those noises might come through. <laughs> and the baby's awake. But luckily, I just finished recording. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think I should do. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.